uh, came to South Africa in 2008. I'm from uh, Congo DRC. I'm from Uganda. I'm from a Central African country called the Democratic Republic of Congo. My life in South Africa is lucky. I come from different country. I come from Burundi because Cape Town, life for the gay, for the lesbian, for the trans, is a better for me. I came to South Africa because in my country, they don't allow lesbian and gays. I chose South Africa because I thought it would be easy for me to fit in due to my sex orientation. I felt like I would be protected than being in my own country. South Africa is the best country for me, especially in Africa, not even my motherland where I'm coming from, because I'm running away from there. Asylum seekers and immigrants who fled their countries because of a well-founded founded fear of persecution because of their sexual orientation are often faced with discrimination in South Africa, both from homophobic elements but also from xenophobic elements, as well as challenges they face at the refugee reception center where they're trying to apply for refugee status. The first time when I went to the Department of Home Affairs, we were in the queue, and then when the Home Affairs refugee officer inside, and she read my, my form and then she was so confused. She was like, how? How come you, you are Congolese and gay? I was, I was like, do you think it's strange to be Congolese and to be gay? I was like, no, we, but in those countries, they are not gay people. I said, who told you that? <laughs> We've been able to put pressure consistently on the Department of Home Affairs to improve its services and assistance to asylum seekers, such that right now, even more than half of asylum seekers and immigrants in the country are documented. We held a protest outside the refugee center when we were a new organization, and overnight they started serving 100 people instead of 20 people a day, which was a 400% increase in the number of people being assisted. PASOF has done a lot of things in my life. They've made me an activist. I say to speak out sometimes is important. You feel happy. Maybe you can get someone you can accept, maybe can help you. I'm not speaking for my own self, but I'm there to represent uh, thousands and thousands of people like me. Their voice to be heard. My dream is to one day to go back to my country and to be accepted as who I am. What I need you to see in me is that I am a normal person. I can contribute to a lot to develop this world. I am your brother, I am your uncle, but treat me as a human being. Consider me as you consider yourself.